Dr. Oz Show January 12, 2015 TV Episode Guide, Total 10 Diet Plan The Dr. Oz Show, January 12, 2015, talked about the over 1.5 million people who have joined in the Total 10 Diet Plan and he said his website has seen over 12 million page views in the last week. Since this is the midway point of the plan, Oz wanted to provide a few more recipe options and answer direct questions about specific details of this revolutionary way to lose weight. Oz said that even though this is a 1-4 day diet, it will be easy to incorporate the lessons learned about food into a total lifestyle change to get a person healthier for life. What exercises are recommended for the plan? The first lady asked about exercise and Oz said it was no necessary during the total 10 plan. His reasoning is that lots of exercise can easily cause a person to eat more and while a person is learning new eating habits, cravings, and hunger pains could cause them to eat more than what is recommended. Oz says exercise is a key to long-term success and one good exercise is walking 10,000 steps per day. 10,000 steps is about 5 miles and the average person walks about 1.5 or 3,000 steps during a normal day. Walking is one exercise Oz approves of while a person is on the plan as it won't increase the appetite as much as other forms. What sugars are allowed on the plan? Oz says refined sugars are forbidden on this plan. He adds that natural sugars are allowed and anyone can use unsweetened almond or coconut milk, cocoa, and dates. Stevia is a great natural way to sweeten things and Oz says use the liquid form for best results. He cautions to watch your intake as it can easily be overdone. No mention of honey but one would think that is allowed on the plan since it is natural. How much protein is allowed each day? Oz says there is a bit of confusion on this matter. A person is allowed 12 ounces of protein for lunch and dinner. The breakfast smoothies have two scoops of protein powder and that is in addition to the 12 ounces. If a person makes three regular meals they would get three servings of four ounces each. If a person uses the smoothies for breakfast, they get two six ounce servings of lean protein to eat for dinner and lunch. Oz says protein is a big part of this diet so make sure to get all that is recommended. He says as you eat regular food for breakfast, make sure you drink a smoothie during the day for a snack, cutting the cost of the detox broth. Oz said some people have asked about changing the recipe for the detox broth. He says recipes are guides and if the ingredients are expensive in your area, you can substitute cheaper veggies that are low glycemic to keep the cost down. Oz says lots of stores carry low sodium veggie broth that will work just fine and be cheaper to use. Oz says this diet is going to change the way people think about food. It has everything you need and variety to keep you from feeling like you are on a diet. Look for more details as this month goes on.